Alright, so all of my Pokemon are messed up now. I gotta heal them all. Look at this. He's too paralyzed. Wubba, 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 wubba. You won't eat? Oh, there we go. He's eating slowly. What about my other Pokemon? Wait a minute. No! Oh, I wanted to help my other Pokemon. I didn't get to. Shit. I screwed up. Forgot you hit the over icon. Man, that was some kind of battle. Our Pokemon all look like they had a blast too. Right then, here I'll share my bit of good luck with you, Dark Side Phil. Obtained a dire hit. You know how the totem Pokemon are all, like, surrounded by some aura of power? If you use a dire hit on your Pokemon and manage to land a critical hit, that aura won't mean a thing. You know, Pokemon battles are just like, sometimes you win and sometimes you lose. But you're only really a loser if you don't have any fun while you're at it, right? Anyway, I'm heading off to Paniola Ranch. Alright, well. Toro's just a room here. What is this? That is disgusting. It is a cow with giant fucking nipples. Ugh. The nipples of the cow are very erect. Anyway. Time to heal. Any over here? A Kamala coffee. That's a new local thing. That wasn't at the other places. Kamala coffee. All right. This will wake you up. Be sure to take care of your new Pokemon and refresh them and herpa derp. You didn't give me any beans. What a dick. Talking about the ranch. What's he selling here? Repeat ball. A somewhat different Pokeball that works especially well on a Pokemon species that have been caught before. Timer ball. Progressively more effective the more turns that are taken in battle. Maybe I'll buy some timer balls. I'll buy three. Interesting. Maybe if I get into a long drawn out battle, then I could catch the Pokemon. Huh. Alright. What do we got over here? If you clear Kiawe's trial, you can ride on the back of a Charizard. Whoa. Uh, Tauros kicks up items on the ground, this guy says. It didn't happen for me. Look at that Makahita of yours. It weighs over 110 pounds. You should look for a move called Grass Knot. It does more damage the heavier the target Pokemon is. Luckily, you can check out the weights of your Pokemon. Oh, wow. Grass Knot is more effective the heavier the Pokemon, huh? Okay. Magmar! Freaking Magmar just standing there. Oh, Magmar! It does love to burn up just about anything. Wow. No, I didn't want to... I didn't want to watch the TV. I hate this ad that keeps playing. Anything in here? Anything upstairs? Wow. Yeah, more stairs. And another freaking Magmar. Oh, look! It pulled out a nice toasty Quick Ball. What is a Quick Ball? I don't know. I have to see. Connected rooms. Nothing in them, though. Nope. 
Let's see what the quick ball is. I think it's good. A somewhat different Pokeball that has a more successful catch rate if used at the start of a wild encounter. So if I run into a wild Pokemon and I use the quick ball right away without even fighting, I might be able to catch it, huh? All right. Okay. What I should do, I should save. I haven't saved in a while now. Save the game. Okay. Everyone who works on the ranch loves Pokemon battles. Really? Here we go. Look at this, a granny. It is like gra some grandmother's gonna fight me. Madam Elizabeth. Carbink. I think that was a major pain in the ass to catch. Here it is. Uh, I guess we'll just go for one of these. Arm thrust. Wow, this is like zero damage. Basically, neither of us can hurt each other. Come on, give me like five hits here, man. Two. Three. Give me a fourth hit. Fourth hit. Yeah! One more. Fifth hit for the grand finale. Yeah! Five hits. Beautiful. Damn. Oh, I used to go first. What? You he fully healed. Ah. God damn it. Sma slapping the living shit out of this thing. Get a million turns. Oh, four hits. Can I please finish it this time? Got it. Phew. A battle of attrition. <laughs> it really was a battle of attrition. Uh, I've had enough. I've had enough. It's time for my, my afternoon siesta. Because I'm like 70 years old. Alrighty then. Welcome to Moo Moo Paddock. Oh, you gotta be a trial goer, right? Well, you got a good sense of timing. The captain's actually here now, so come on. Oh, okay, let's go see the captain. It's freaking cows. So many of them. And they have so many nipples. Oh god, it's Malo. What a name. Thanks for stopping by. The Moo Moo Milk from Peniola Ranch is the best. It's so rich, rich and creamy. When you use it in white sauce and other things. Oh my god. Mmm, the taste can't even be described. Can we get off this subject, please? Oh, come on, man. By the way, since I was lucky enough to run into you here, I'll do you a favor. Stoutland was registered on your ride pager. Ah. Stoutland can stiff out items for you that are buried in the dirt where you can't even see them. When you're riding Stoutland, pressing the B button to use that Stoutland search is what it's all about. Get up there and try it. There's all kinds of stuff laying around waiting for you to find. If you go all the way down Route 5, you'll come out to Brooklet Hill. My friend Lana's up there, so say hi to her for me if you see her. Alrighty then. Let's 
Stout land. Here it is. What the fuck am I looking at? Now? How do I get it to How do I get it to dig? I don't know. How does it dig? I don't get it. Ah! Found a rappel. Now? Oh! A fresh water. This is weird, man. A moo moo milk. What is going on? Well, I got a new mount. Whatever the fuck this thing is, for better or worse. Whoa. We got a new kind of tall grass. It looks more like hay. A little pup. Let's see if I can catch this one without killing it instantly. See, I don't want to kill it. Let's use fake out. Slappy. I need to hit it one more time, but not kill it. I don't know if I'm going to be able to, though. Oh, now I can maybe I can catch it now. Let's see. Let's try it. Can I catch it? Did I get it? Nice! The lip pop. Ooh, level up! Samojo levels up. Nice. He wants to learn Vital Throw. What is it? Let's see. User attacks last and return his throw move never misses. Ah. I should get vital throw or not. Second attack, but it always hits. Fake out's kind of eh. It doesn't really do a lot of damage, and the flinch doesn't work very well. I think I might get rid of fake out. I think I'm gonna get rid of fake out. Yeah. Alright, vital throw. Very good. Lillipop. I'm gonna I know what I'm gonna call it. Oh wow, it's got two evolutions. Two evolutions. I wonder if it's a new Pokemon. It might be. The long fur surrounding its face functions as radar, enabling it to probe the condition of its battle opponents. <laughs> That's actually what I'm gonna call it. Fur face. <laughs> All right. Very good. What? Dude, what? I took a single stab. A single freaking stab, dude. Force palm! Insta kill. Dude. 
All right. I got behind this trainer and surprised him. All right, let's get his guy. The farmer, Farmer Bill. Pokemon Breeder Glenn. A Mud Bray, oh boy. False Palm. Boom. And it got paralyzed. This is unable to move, and then immediately uses a move. And does insane damage, by the way. <clears throat> God damn it. Well, you know what I gotta do. Spooky ghost who can't be affected by any of this dude's moves. Switch him in. Bam, bam, bam. You gotta lick him. Should be it. Got him. Very nice. I have to clean the mud off my freaking uh, ghastly here. <laughs> Covered in mud. Yep. Oh no, it's not. It's actually wet. That's weird. Why is it wet? You didn't get hit with water at all. That was weird. Shit, no. I almost dropped my beam. Delicious. He also needs help. Look. What does he need? No. Oh, there we go. Brush the dirt off. Brush the dirt off his fat, bulbous stomach. Ugh. <laughs> Alright, time to switch Pokemon order again, I think. Let's put... What the hell? Let's put Seal Sealtard in the lead. I haven't used him in a while. There you go. 